I would like to talk to you today about the three types of diets, because there are only three variations within them, but there are only three types of diets we see here. First, we have the, what I will funny, make a little funny thing here and call it the Crowley diet. The satanic philosopher Aleister Crowley and his famous statement that he came out with was, do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law. Um, very wicked man, but um, this one here is a little bit of a spinoff. I'll say not do what thou wilt, but eat what thou wilt. Uh, the Crowley diet is pretty much, if it tastes good, eat it. Do whatever you want. There is no such thing as health, nutrition, whatever. Go to the store if you are in the mood for chips or candy or whatever else. You just eat whatever's out there. That would be the Crowley diet. Number two, and this is one a lot of people do, would be the compromise diet. The compromise diet. Um, well, I don't eat junk food all the time, but occasionally now and then I do. I'll get just a little bit of junk food. You know, just once in a while I'll throw a candy bar in there, a little bit of candy or some what other types of things like that. Um, and then the third type would be the natural diet. This is a diet that consists of foods that have no ingredients list on the back. Okay, Pure food, foods, whole foods. Um, that one's a, a good one. I mean, uh, any kind of meats, any cheeses or... You know, good cheeses, I should say, um, things without preservatives and whatever else. Now, uh, which is the best one? Well, um, that one obviously is the best one right there. You say, well, that's just, oh, great, vegetables and whatever else. No, I didn't say vegetables. Okay, vegetables can be part of this natural diet, certainly, just as fruit can be. Um, but a natural diet includes meat, right? A true natural diet, according to the scriptures, it would include meat. Um, you will never find a, a uh, vegetarian in the New Testament. All right, they're not there. Um, there are some that are weak. They eat herbs and things like that. And if that's what they want to do, that's fine. Um, I just mean a vegetarian as in all the Christians are vegetarians or something. Forced vegetarianism is actually condemned in the New Testament. Um, <clears throat> but let me just say something here about my own personal experience. I actually have been an expert in all three diets. <laughs> I started out as the Crowley diet. I pretty much ate whatever I wanted, as much as I wanted, including getting to the point of being sick. Um, I've told this story before, I think, in other studies. Um, but I remember the one time we went to a family get-together, some friends of the family, I should say, and one of the people worked at a candy factory, and they had bags and bags of Twizzlers, like the red strawberry type or whatever the red flavor of Twizzlers is. And I, as a little boy, went and I took a whole bag of Twizzlers and I snuck off over behind the barn or something and I was sitting over there eating. I ate the whole bag of Twizzlers. I was so sick on the way home, um, laying in the back of our station wagon. Uh, every bump we'd hit, oh, uh, and finally I said, pull over, Dad. And he pulled over quick and I got out the back and vomited and oh, it was pleasant. <laughs> and uh, you say, well, then you never ate junk after that. No, I did it a bunch more times. Um, for many years, I would... Uh, eat chocolate knowing I was going to get a headache from it and so yeah I have a lot of experience in the Crowley diet I ate what I wanted even not even caring about getting sick then I started started to slowly morph into the compromise diet where I started to realize okay you know some nutritional health might actually help me get better I started to get fascinated by I'd get a cold in the fall or winter and I, people would say, well, you need to have some chicken soup or something. And uh, chicken soup, uh, you know, I'd rather have, you know, a Big Mac and fries and a milkshake or something. And uh, no, you need to have some chicken soup. And uh, okay, and I'd, I'd eat some nutritional type of food, you know, bone broth type of chicken soup is what I'm talking about, not Campbell's in a can chicken soup. But I'd eat some kind of a good chicken soup, and oh, hey, actually, I feel pretty good in a few days. And I started to realize. Oh, you mean I can actually get better without medicine? I could actually just increase my health by having good nutrition? Hmm, this is a new concept. 
But I couldn't quite give up everything from the Crowley diet. So for many years, up until the time I was married, for a long time even through that time of marriage, I would do the compromised diet. In fact, I'd say probably within the last, up until the last uh, year or two, I've been pretty much in between here. <laughs> I'm not fully over to the natural diet. I was pretty much here trying to dabble with this. Well, uh, for a long time now, I have been in the natural diet. And um, even to the point of uh, we would make a thing, we called it apple apple pie dessert is what we called it. I was actually going to make a video. We make it off grid on our wood stove. Chop up wild apples that we grow on our property, preserved from the fall, um, and chop them up. You put, you melt some butter, chopped up apples into that in a frying pan, or not a pan, but a, a, like a pot with a lid on it. Apples, butter, and then you take oatmeal and you take some brown sugar, like good stuff, not the white sugar that's just dyed brown, you know, with molasses. Um, I'm talking about actual real like cane sugar, pure organic cane sugar or something like that. Put that in with the apples, butter, and oatmeal and let it cook a little bit to the apples soften and then stir it all up and everything and it's really good. It tastes almost like apple pie. Um, really good stuff. But even that, I'm noticing I will eat it and just a little bit of sugar. I don't put much in, but just that little tiny bit of sugar and it just as soon as I'm done eating, if I eat meat and like a lot of animal fat, I feel really good and energetic. Even just a little tiny bit of sugar now and I feel just, ugh, I feel, you know, I drive into work and I'm going, okay, I have to stay awake. Just a little tiny bit of sugar just makes my body go haywire. So as time goes by, I'm getting more, I'm going from here down to here. <laughs> and hopefully someday I can be completely here. You say, what's the point of this video? Well, a lot of people out there are up here. And you wonder why you get sick. Um, getting sick is not a normal thing, okay? Uh, a lot of sickness, be it a fever or um, diarrhea or things like that, is your body actually trying to get rid of toxins and toxicity. So how do I get toxins in me? Probably the food that you eat, okay? Um, excitotoxins, look up that sometime. Uh, there's a lot of those. A lot of things that spike your insulin levels and make you feel really weak and whatever and hyper and, and whatever. You're not getting energy from poison pop, okay? You're getting poisoned. Excitotoxins are making you think that you need more of it. And again, I used to drink six cans of, an average of about six cans a day of Dr. Pepper when I worked at a factory fabricating things and, you know, building boats and whatnot. Um, quite the junk food eater and a lot of candy and candy bars and whatever else too. Getting into the compromised diet, you will feel a little bit better, but the highest levels of natural health where you get into things of rebuilding your bones, um, I've heard stories of you can rebuild your teeth, uh, getting toxicity out of your body. I think a lot of the electrical sensitivity that people are coming under where they're having problems with Wi-Fi and whatever, I get why people say I need to get away from that. I'm certainly one of them that I try to get away from electrical frequencies. I don't have a cell phone or anything else because I don't want the EMF fields that come from that. But I think part of the reason that some people are more sensitive than others is because of nutrition or lack thereof, I should say. Um, that's a whole other study there. I'm just kind of getting into that. But this down here, the, the true natural diet is one, uh, you get into wild edibles and things um, beyond organic even, I'm saying, where you get into wild harvested and you will feel really good, really good. And um, so I would recommend that, the natural diet. Um, and if you're up here, start to migrate your way down through. Um, 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 31. Read that real quick to you here. It says, Whether, whether therefore ye eat or drink or whatsoever ye do, do all to the glory of God. Now, I read that verse. That's the only verse I'm reading in this little short video. Can you do all to the glory of God here? No. <laughs> oh, God, thank you for these gummy bears. <laughs> these uh, strawberry and grape nerds. Um, this, you know, two liter bottle of Dr. Pepper that I'm going to sit while watching a Hollywood movie and, and eating 
Cheetos, you know, or something like that. You can't give all to the glory of God for that. How about this one down here? Well, you're kind of getting closer. This one here? Yeah, you can give all glory to God for that natural diet right there. I suggest that you go as close to this as you can. Work your way down to it. Uh, again, I'm not going to judge anybody for being up here. I was there at one point in time. Um, and believe me, the weird thing is, you can't imagine living without your junk food up here. But when you get down to here, and then especially down into here, you try to go back up to there, and it'll make you sick. And you'll think, how in the world did I live on that stuff? I can't even eat it now. The smell of it, it's, ugh, you know, it's weird. And you're not walking around eating vegetables and some kind of a thing down here, little veggie, what? No, there's a lot of really good foods down here, very fattening, very whole foods. Uh, we, we like to eat raw butter, uh, my wife and I. We love that animal fats and things, raw milk and raw milk cheeses and, and things. Oh, the food is, is amazing down here. Um, fermented foods and things, and, oh boy, great stuff. Um, some really good grass-fed meat. Wild game is excellent. Uh, Wild-caught fish. I mean, true wild-caught fish that I catch myself. You know, um, it's good stuff. Uh, wild berries and things like that as well. So, uh, please do take my advice on this. Like I said, this was a lot of suffering up here. I got sick a lot. My sickness started to go away. Now, uh, for the most part, um, I don't get sick that much. Very little. Um, falling down a flight of stairs in the ice about three weeks ago now, and um, I was in bad shape, could barely walk. I mean, it, it was bad. It was about an inch thick of ice, and I had, there were cracks in the ice from where I was going, bam, 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 hitting, going down these steps. And it's pretty much healed now. Um, if I was back up here, uh, it wouldn't have been healed. So um, take my advice. You won't regret it. Thank you for watching.